Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at radicals and absolute value in the answer. If you're taking an enriched math course or more challenging one, your teacher may require you to know this, or sometimes teachers just sort of skip over this because it can be a little bit confusing to uh, get into. But let's go through sort of the motivation for absolute value, making sure that you know absolute value is a set of brackets, they're vertical bars, and um, we'll see what that means in a second. Okay, so radicals. Here is a radical, it looks ugly. It's got a power on the inside M and it's got a nth root on the outside. And what we have to be, sh be careful with here is when you take, for instance, if I take the square root of a number, say nine, then the idea here is, is that the square root is actually the principal square root or the positive square root. In fact, if you put that into the calculator, it's not gonna tell you negative three, it's gonna tell you positive three. So the answer is positive, okay? And that has to do with the definition of that square root symbol. On its own, it means what's the positive square root, what's the number that when multiplied by itself will give the number under the radical the nine. Now we know that negative three times negative three is also nine, but it doesn't want the negative case. It wants the positive case, okay? Um, so this is true whenever the index here is even. Now in this case, it's square root, but this, what I'm about to tell you is any case where the index is even, okay? Where n is even, um, where n is even, if n is not even, then what we're about to talk about doesn't hold, okay? It has to be even. Um, and so the idea here is that when n is even, the answer, the answer that we place has to be positive because it wants the principal nth root or the positive um, nth root. And again, this is only true when n is even, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So let's take a look at some examples that make this point. Now, here's the square root of 9x squared. So when we do this, most of you are going to know that you, you go through and you say, what's the square root of 9? And you say the answer is 3, not negative 3, because we have to ensure that the answer is positive, okay? And then we say the square root of x squared. Well, look, the index is 2. So what I could do here is say the answer is x. This here gets divided by that, so 2 over 2, or the square root of x squared is x, right? And you would then say that the answer is 3x, x to the 1. Now you have to be careful here, because remember, this has to balance for any possible input on x. If I was to put a square box around the x, call it the x box, if I was to type in a number here that's negative, it will take the negative value because look what's happening. You're squaring the number before you square root it. So this actually accepts negative values. Now, the, so in other words, say x is equal to negative two. Well, negative two is negative two squared, which is four. Four times nine is 36. The square root of 36 is six. So this original question, not simplified, this original blue question, um, works for negative two. Now, if I put negative two into here, I get an answer of negative six. Well, that's not balancing, right? So this has to be equal to this. Not only that, but we want the positive answer. So in order to ensure that we have a positive answer for x, for cases where x is negative, we have to put an absolute value set of brackets around the x. This only is true when the exponent on the answer is um, odd. Okay, so one, three, five, and so on. Let's take a look at this next one here. If I was to, now this is square root land again. So to build my answer, which I want to be positive, right? Because I'm asking for the principal square root, that's gonna be x four over two. So four divided by two, and then the y times y, six divided by two. Okay, now break this down. So that's gonna be equal to, well, x squared, x squared. And then the y to the six over two is gonna be y to the three. Now just double check, make sure that the answer is gonna be positive. The, this here is okay, x is okay, because look, x squared, the square is gonna ensure that the answer stays positive. But look here, y is being cubed. 
And so the cube doesn't guarantee that the answer stays positive. So in this case, you have to put absolute value around the y. You can put it around the x, but it's redundant. It's not needed. Let's take a look at the next one here. So we get into a little bit of a roll here. Check here. Notice now the outside index is 3. This rule is only applicable when n is even. So in this case here, we don't use absolute value brackets. You don't need them for odd indices. So here the answer would be x, 6 divided by 3, which is 2, and then y, 3 divided by 3, which is 1. Now, even though y is being raised to an odd exponent, you don't want to put the absolute value here. Because when you take the cube root of a number, you can get a negative value. So we don't try to ensure positiveness in our answer for, uh, for indices that are odd. OK? Um, so you leave it just like that. And now the last one here, this one looks like it could be important to consider because look, the index is 4. So if the index is 4, again, n is even, 4 is even, so we, we tread carefully here. So x, 4 over 4 is 1, and y to the 8, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So in this case, we check our exponents in the answer, and if either of them are odd, and in this case it is, see, that's a 1, then you have to install your absolute value brackets. Okay, I don't need to worry about the y because the square on the y is going to ensure that the answer stays positive. Remember, when the index is even, you want a positive answer. When the index is odd, the answer can be negative, right? Don't forget, the cube root of negative 8 is equal to negative 2. So with, with um, indices that are, are not um, even, you can get a negative answer. All right, I hope that helps. Um, leave a like on this video if it did help you. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you right back here in the next video.